Hello, hello, Kenny Evans here, another car video. The topic of this video is getting married should be difficult if done correctly. But before I get into the topic, I just want to let you guys know, again, this channel is for both men and women who want to be the best in all aspects of their life. Not only just the dating relationship, but the health, wealth, and the mindset. So welcome, welcome. I appreciate you being here. Um, in addition, I know we got some new people. Welcome. I know we got some people who've been here for a while. Welcome. And if you have not done so, uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification button. You know, um, so you'll be notified for whenever I upload some new videos. And of course, if you just want to support me, if you like my videos, hit that like button. I appreciate it. Every little bit counts. So let us get back to the topic at hand. Getting married should be difficult if done correctly. You know, this is an important topic because we got a lot of people out here who are against getting married, period. Or even getting in relationships, period. Because they feel like, you know, there's too much risk on the men. And, you know, the woman will get all the benefits or most of the benefits if they divorce. And of course, there's a little bit of truth in everything. But of course, as we know, as strong men, we all know that as the man, a strong man, we are in charge of the direction of the relationship. And this is the reason I am making this video. So, um... First and foremost, the first thing you got to realize, I got five uh, things you have to realize, tips, rules to look out for, plus a bonus at the end. So look out for that bonus. <sighs> but first um, reason you got to realize that getting married should be difficult if done correctly is because you must vet the person properly you gotta see if she is he the person she whoever it is is somebody who you would want to see yourself in a relationship for in first are they sexual enough for you you know are they honest are they a giver you know are they somebody who is friendly are they intelligent are they funny you know I mean, are they somebody outside of just being uh, sexually attracted to you? That's the base. They're sexually attracted to you, attracted to you. They were past that now. If you're looking for marriage, it's more than just sex. You know what I mean? Do they have characteristics in somebody who you would want to be uh, in a relationship with? Obviously, getting a boyfriend, girlfriend is one thing. But marriage is, you got to look for more things. You know what I mean? Um... Are they intelligent again? There's so many different things. You got to vet this person properly um, in order to be able to get for them to be married to you or for you to want to marry them either way. That's the first a tip, reason, whatever you want to call it. The first thing you got to be looking out for. Did you vet this person properly and are they somebody who you would want to be in a relationship with? Second, do they make your life easier? Are they easygoing people? Do they follow your lead? You know, do they want to listen to you? Do they want to get better in order to be with you? All very important things. All very important things. Indeed, you have to look out for it. If this person is going to be in a relationship and, of course, getting married to you. So, number three. <sighs> do they do things for you outside of the relationship? Maybe you got a business. And they support you with their business, with your business. Or if they have a business, they support you with their business. You know, maybe they help you with clients. Maybe they help you if you um, do YouTube. They help you with videos. Maybe they help you, um, maybe you do live streams. They're within the live stream. They help participate 
and also get other people to participate, make the live stream more interesting. Maybe they help you um, sell things. They bring you clients, or maybe they help you directly with sales. You know what I mean? They're, they're hands-on with the business. Do they help you with things outside of the relationship? You know, maybe they buy things for you, give you gifts. Maybe if you have a job, you, you know, you got a party, a business party. They either attend it or they help um, support it through either uh, building up the event or just joining you, networking, getting to meet people, getting to, to know people's wives and getting their wives to like you, uh, like you and them. So therefore, their husbands or wives or whoever is more connected and they want to do potential business with you it's it's crucial again when it comes to having somebody who you are looking for marriage or a relationship it has to be more than sex they have to add value outside the relationship because if it's just within the relationship it's cool but you want somebody who, who, who who's able to take it to the next level you know for marriage, you know, so yes, number four this is very important. Very, 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 very important. You have to want to be around them. <laughs> you know, you have to want to be around them. It's very important. You have to want to be around them. If you don't want to be around them, they make you miserable, always arguing, you know, they lie, they cheat. It's like, what would you want to be in a relationship, let alone get married? You know, what would you want to be in a relationship, let alone get married for? You know what I mean? If they, 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 you don't even want to be around them. And believe it or not, you got guys who are in relationships and they don't even like being around their, their, their girlfriend and let them know they don't like being around the person. Bit. And they're even married and they don't like being around the person. What's the point? You know, I don't care about stability like that. I don't care about what, you know, other people think I should be doing with my life. If you... Do not want to be around the person. You don't even like the person. You know, you really don't love them, but it's just the optics or you just want the stability to say you have somebody or to start a family. Man, you're doing yourself a huge disservice. You really are. You're doing yourself a huge disservice. So you got to first want to be around that person before you even think about getting married. Yes, five, the fifth thing, fifth thing. You want to, uh, you must want to see that person do better. You want to see that person be better, do better. And maybe they got all these things checking off. But hey, maybe they could lose a little weight. Maybe they could, you know, um, maybe do something better with the cooking. Maybe do something better in the bedroom. Maybe do something better with the kids. Maybe do something better if you have kids or not. Uh, maybe they could, um, you know, um, Start a business. Do something on the side. Um, I don't know. But as you are getting better, you should expect your partner to get better. You both should be wanting to grow. Constantly. Growing is a lifelong journey. And in all aspects of your life. So if you're growing, they got to grow. And they got to get better since you're getting better. And if they want to be with you and you're getting better, again... They got to get better. You know, this is crucial. It is crucial. So, I said I had a bonus. And this is the bonus for your ass. <laughs> and this is very important. A lot of guys don't do this. But it is very important. You're, as a man, the woman should be wanting to get married to you first. She should bring up marriage just like she should bring up a relationship. As a woman, you should bring up marriage or a relationship before your man. It is important. That is super important. 
because as a woman, you should follow you should be following your man's lead. And as a man, your woman should be following your lead. But also, you shouldn't, as a man, be desperate for wanting to get in a relationship or um, in marriage because it makes you look needy. So when your your woman brings it up, you know it's her idea. You know she really has interest in you and you know she really wants to be with you as opposed to the other way around where you don't know if she really wants to be with you and you bring it up you could be looking needy and insecure and it just could it could, it could go it could go bad it could go bad so that is your bonus the woman should bring up getting married or in a being being in a relationship first it's the woman's job all right so that is all I got for y'all here today. Let me know what you think. Whether you like my list or you dislike the list. Did I miss something? Do you think I hit everything on point? Let me know. Of course, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification button so you'll be notified for when I upload any other videos. And yes, yes, yes. Uh, let me know what other topics you want me to um, talk about. Because again, this channel is not just for me. And in fact, it's not even about me. I created a channel, but it's for I created for for you guys. You know what I mean? And and again, um, the topics can be not only health and or dating relationship, but also health, wealth, and mindset. All right. So, of course, if you found value in this video, you could donate. I appreciate all donations. And yes, 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 yes. That's all I got for y'all. But until next week, y'all stay safe and always remember the strongest man is the happiest man. Peace.